Yo, yeah, what is going on? OBZ from OBZBeats.com with OBZ Beats blog, and today we are with the big white brick from Do. Baby. The big white brick. So, <laughs> love that shit. That's the trademark right there. That's gonna be it. Yeah. Shit. So, Brick, what age did you merge into this into this music industry place? Okay. Well, industry or just uh, like you know, try to do independent artistry. Well, I, I would say, yeah, of course. You crack on. <laughs> You're all good. Yeah. Well, trying to monetize this or not? Let's say I just heard you. Nice one, yeah. So yeah, being I suppose being an independent artist when they're like, oh. <clears throat> So I guess like really the easiest way to sum the story up was like I've been doing freestyle and like basically party tricks for twelve years. Yep. Um I show up at a you know bonfire or whatever, and like, yo, this guy knows how to rap and then I'd be the one giving everybody the entertainment and unless somebody had a guitar or um, but then about eight years, this day, basically we got 12 years of band music here, and so eight years back in that 12 years band is when I decided to start trying to write and record music. I didn't know what I was doing, so I've got a couple of videos. Me with like some headphones, you know, and I'm going to go on the app, on the band. So like two years ago, I'm not really putting it down to Strong radio, started focusing on the music itself. So I was trying to brand not only me with something that I enjoy, but that strong radio brand. Yeah, no, I understand. I understand you completely. I understand you completely. So I suppose, a learning curve, man. Still, no, nah, no, nah, of course it always is. It always is. So you look kind of nervous, bro. It's just like I, I know that look. It's no, like, I'm just like, like you know, like, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm here. waiting for the dog. <laughs> like you know how it goes over here, man. I'm for the dog or the kiddos or somebody just try to you know break in right now and just be like, yo. <laughs> so I'm trying to focus, man. So yeah, I, I do kind of seem nervous, but I'm just trying to make sure that I'm listening and you know following direction here, so that way I can try to intercept what happens. To focus <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to trying to do the it man thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ah, real shit. Okay, so this kind of entangles into like the last question, I suppose, because you you already kind of gave us an answer. But um, where were you when you decided you wanted to become an artist slash rapper? Okay, so didn't really didn't really answer that question, but I get where you're saying. Okay, so check this out. I was actually okay. <laughs> my mom okay decided to name me John Travis because yeah. she wanted me to be a country singer. Okay, John okay. Travis Armstrong sounds great, right? So we have got John Travis Armstrong, who is now not the country singer John Travis. Sorry, he's Big White Brick, the rapper. Yeah. Oh, so we switch. You know, I was saying switch blades on that. Okay, but either way, she. It was really funny how that worked out because my grandpa. You know, what I'm saying they come from like an old Appalachian mountain type, like okay. West Virginia background. Like I'm talking like hillbilly, you know, picking. So that's why you know I fuck with the mandolin, the guitar. I mean, I know a little bit of around some stuff, but uh, mainly, dude, I just couldn't sing, bro. Like I just can't sing. Yeah. Like, I can't do that whole nasally Randy Travis sounding, you know, like, oh, you know, <laughs> I just can't do it. But uh, no, man. So that's that's where it all started was the the actual classic country music, man, that was actually getting me into the lyricism 
So, like, as a young kid, man, like, I would listen to these old country songs, man. I mean, yeah, they're depressing. They put you in some, you know, odd place if you're uh, going to yeah, allow that to happen. Real talk. Yeah, um, real talk. How you, you take music. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, like, that soaks in. You get all depressed or whatever. But if you really look at the backside of the music and you look at who wrote the songs, like, for instance, if you go look at some of T.I.'s songs, like, you're going to find a bunch of writers. Like, T.I. doesn't yeah. write his own songs. <laughs> he's an outsourced you know yeah you know, like just straight mk ultra man you know what i'm saying it's real no i'm playing i'm not going to go into all that but the fact of the matter is the fact of the matter is dude is that was placed there for a reason you know that he could sing those songs or whatever he could put those placements on the songs they wrote them and then they gave them to him so they hit you know they could hit um so I mean, so you got that, you know. Where was your exact out. location? Like, give me, give me the exact but, location where yeah, you were. Yeah, it's El Paso. It's El Paso, but that's what I'm saying. Like, they named me to be a country artist, and so like, <clears throat> by all that grain, you know what I'm saying, brought me to that point. Like, it was just crazy. How? Like, so how? So how old were you? Like, when you like you just well, you said you already decided. You said you decided to be a rapper twelve years well twelve years ago. I actually got NWA tape. Like, I had a Mr. Microphone, bro. Oh, okay. Shit. Like, you remember the little Mr. Microphone, like, with the face on it? And you put the, you know, tape deck in it. It had, like, yeah, the B side tape, tape decks. Tape, but it had I've microphone. seen them, yeah. Real shit. Yeah, it looks like, it's like Mr. Potato Head, except you can, <laughs> you, you, you can sing through them. <laughs> and so, like, okay, so, like, three tracks, bro, specifically, that got me into, like, changing into the genre of music that I decided I wanted to really be behind. So I'm playing all this country music. I think I'm hearing all this country music. Everybody around me is doing this country thing. You know, we're all slapping our knees and like asking people to hold our beer and whatever. But uh, <laughs> the fact of the matter was we're sitting there and uh, I hear an N- or I was given an NWA tape. Okay. So we've got uh, NWA and then we got Lou Bega, Mambo Number no. Five, <laughs> and then we've also got um, what was that last one? Uh, Cinderella. Okay, so this is like an '80s hair metal band. My mom, you know, what I'm saying. So like, you get all three of those mixed together, and I guess you, you got like, you know, Long Night, Short Days. I I don't know, man. Whatever. Yeah, but it's, not it's like that track right there. It's like the sum. That track right there really is the sum of what I really wanted to do to begin with. It's like. I call it finding Nirvana, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to go back to, a, like, right before Nirvana stopped playing music and everything else, like, that alternative sound, but I can't sing either way, so I'm still, you know, rhyming. I'm still putting that, you know, Brooklyn, whatever. I mean, it started, you know, wherever it originated from. The fact of the matter is, like, where I got my pieces was Midwest, New York, and then you can see it. It goes from one coast to the other, but like I'm dead center in the middle with you know how I chop. So like yeah. I don't know, man. There's a lot of influences there. But the fact of the matter was is that's where it started. It was El Paso, but all this hick, all this other stuff, and then I had you know Lou Bega, Mamba Number Five with NWA, and something switched around. So like I'm like, I'm rap for you. I get you. I get you completely. I, I see where you're coming from. I see where you're coming from. So like in regards to like. Like what's your what like what are you passionate about in regards to music? Like if there was one thing, because I know there's numerous things for different people. Do you know what I'm saying? Like me as a producer, yeah. many different sides of things that I'm quite passionate about. But like you as an artist, what's the one thing if you could like brand like just one thing? What would that one thing be? You know what I'm saying? Cool. Genuinity, man. Like real shit. Like I tried to tell people, and I tried to spit. Like it's hundred. Like you know, 10,000, bro, like, for real, over 9,000 with it, like, I try to keep everything so real, and so tight, that way, you know what I'm saying, there's no reason to give any holes, or, you know, there's no reason to lie to anybody in the beginning anyway, man, because I'm not gonna sit here and try to remember all the lies I told you, that's, I mean, I talk to so many people a day, it's, like, unreal, so, like, don't start there, um, but the fact of the matter is, is, like, being genuine, and being just, like, I don't know, man, it, that's where it is, though, it's, like, that, narrow line of things like there's a lot of things you can cross a line with but when you say genuine you, there's not many things you can do to cross that line unless you're like really trying to be a you know a piece of shit man I mean, yeah I'm like cool no i get you no, i get like, you so, oh, i'm coming to the strong radio live as long, right? you're true to yourself, yeah. so as long as you're being you know true to yourself you can do that with yourself like obviously 
you have to have it first before you can give it to anybody else, but just be true to yourself. Take what it is for what it is and then give it back 100%. You know, it's coming back to you. So, like, that's yeah. kind of where it's at, man. It's just that chain link. No, I get you. I get you. I get you. So, so why do you make the music that you do then? Because obviously, like, you've been straight with me since day. Like, you've been genuine 100%. But, like, I got to get off off the chest, man. But, like, that all, every bit of my lyrics, man, if you listen to them close enough, like, you you'll feel some type of way, man. Like, I mean, that's literally all me, man. I mean, that's all out. Everything's out on the table on those. Everything. I all 56 you. tracks on my SoundCloud right now. I've got me just, I mean, that's poured out. No, I get you. I get you. So what kind of rituals or routines do you have before writing or, you know, jumping into the booth and smashing out some tracks? You got any funny uh, shit that you do? Before, anyway, before, before or after my kids, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, well, shit. Well, let's like, go before, now it's and then we'll go back. Let's, let's do that. Let's go back in time. Yeah, I was gonna say, man. Before, yeah, before, man. You know what I'm saying? We had a we had a nice little panel, a uh, booth we set up. Uh, it was really nice acoustics inside of it. Everything was really, really narrow. Uh, yeah. Super claustrophobic, though. Um, but it had it was super dark, dim. But we had accent lights in it. The ritual. I mean, obviously, you know what I'm saying. Is sometimes you know we're smoking. It's like stupid as fuck drinking smoking yeah, no, and, and fucking around making jokes so like i mean that's really where it's at dude you just you know we're just winding down inside inside of the studio there fucking around with whatever we're fucking around beats whatever it be and then all of a sudden like as we're making or or listening or however those beats are coming across if something yeah. connects and most of the time we were all always in there like four deep before i moved and i came back and i had the kids um, yeah. So, like, we were four deep in there, so there were, like, all kinds of, like, mo- mobility, and uh, n- there was no limits to the things that we could bounce off each other, man, so that that was fun, because, like, one person would start with something, somebody would take it and make it somewhere else, um, so you got from point A to point D really quick before, yeah. before heads, man, you know so, like, I mean? that was fun, that was a different time. Now, uh, <laughs> like, uh, ritual is not even a word that you can use anymore, man, it's, like, literally, if I can... F- find a space and time where one of my kids are not up sick wanting yeah. something or that dog is not yelping whining or barking in the background that's where you're going to find me being able to record because everything else the acoustics and everything else man i've got to try to muffle like the sound that you hear in my tracks bro like i'm surprised i was able to get it to sound that crisp that good because of the yeah. way everything is in the background what what's going on here so like ac unit running dog chirping like he thinks he's a bird uh, you know, kids, you know, trying to knock the doors down like they're DEA or some shit. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get you. I get you completely. No, I get you. It's just a moment's peace, isn't it, really? All three of though. Like, it would be different if there was, like, one kid, maybe my youngest. Like, she sleeps a lot more than the other two. And the other two just, you know, they're starting to grow into their self. So it's like, their mind so it's 10 times worse than me so like they're just really loud obnoxious anyway because they know that i hate that because they hate it yeah. too but yeah they know no, it to each other so then like i get the third person so like it's mm, yeah it's right possible. smack dab in the middle yeah, <laughs> yeah it's great okay. um okay. Okay. I'm the fourth wheel out on the third on the third wheel you know what i'm saying it's the craziest shit. i've never experienced it before but it, this is happening right now uh but yeah, yeah now there's no right the way. Way. it's gonna stay on the axle somehow so like, are yeah, you still right. taught, or are you meant like, were you mentored by anybody? Did anybody mentor you in regards to like anything? No, to, like, no. See, to, that's like, the craziest cool part. Stuff. I've done all of this on my, my own. Okay. Uh, even like throughout this whole independent thing, like like I already knew I needed to do everything for myself. And I mean, obviously, if you want it done right, you're gonna have to do it yourself to begin yeah. with, especially if you know what you're talking about. So like, the mm-hmm. web design, the album arts, everything, man. I mean, from ground one. I started and then just tried to figure it out on my own. And if I needed help, obviously I had somebody in those circles that was able to like pick a, you know, a choice road for me to take to even look at it or find some more information out about it. But they never actually told me or showed me how to do anything. We never had the time to connect like that ever, really. I've never had the time to connect with anybody like that sometimes. Um, so it's like, you know, trying to find, figure that out. It's, it's fine tuning, man. It sucks. Uh, but other than that, like uh the graviest part about all that whole structure is that i was able to learn it 
uh, you know, feed it to myself and then and digest all that that I've learned so that now I can actually teach other people how to do that and be that person that was never there for me. You know what I'm saying? If I had a me, yeah, yeah. man, that be on point. So um, definitely, I'm just trying to be a teacher now at this point because I know a little bit. I don't know everything, obviously, but you know what I'm saying? I know enough at this point that if you're looking and searching for something, man, there's prob probability I either know somebody that can give you the answers or I might have, you know, something around those answers that you need. So I get you. It's uh, like, but yeah, it's that phrase, isn't it? It's uh, know a little about a lot. I get you. Yeah, I mean, knowledge, power, power, yeah, power is you know, power is the key. And then you you get into the other side of it too, though. You always have too much knowledge, or try to think you have too much knowledge, and then it comes and turns into manipulation. Manipulation is power. Yeah. Power is fear. Fear is God. You know, whatever. But yeah. yeah, yeah. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> You know, all reality, man, like either they're out to get you or they're there for you, man. There's just a lot less people that are really there for you. When you stand back and look at it all, then they're going to be there on the front lines with you. And most of the ones that are on the front lines with you trying to tell you they're there on the front lines with you are the ones you got to watch the most because they're telling you that for a reason. You know, yeah. it's just like as soon as they can soak up everything they can get from you, they're going to jump ship. So you got to just keep your circles small. And you got to know the people you know, man. Trust the people you know. If there's no loyalty or trust in any kind of clique that you got going on, especially within the music thing, because the music industry is always either a shady, it's a high-risk business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you try to get any kind of business loan or anything for uh, music industry, anything, okay, no go. They're not going to tell you that's so high-risk that you might as well just go find a penny bank from your cousin, smash it, steal it, deal with all that consequence, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. But... I mean, you're better off just piddling, piddling pedals, dude. Like, really, at that point, you're not going to get any kind of loans or anything like that. There's no backing. So you have to have money to make money. Uh, you have to have a little bit of money to invest in yourself. And I've done a lot of that. But mostly what's crazy is I've tried to do this a different way by investing in a lot more people than myself. That way, you know what I'm saying? That, that whole tenfold thing. Like, I try to make sure the jar that we're all pulling out of never empties out. So if everybody's putting in more uh, you know, then they're taken out, then we're always obviously not gonna end up with an empty jar. And that's the that's the motivation behind it all, really. And that no, goes right back to that genuine genuine thing, man. And all that I mean, everything circles, everything's a cycle and everything connects. So there's your connection to all that really. No, I feel you completely. I feel you completely. So like within all of this, are there any resources uh that you use that have helped you advance in your career or helped you and your team? Like, I know me and you have worked quite closely for a year now, do you know what I'm yeah. saying? More for the best part of six months, we've just been regular, like, real shit. But, like, is there anything that, because I, I know, but, like, is there anything that these people that are watching this don't know that, you know, resource-wise websites or anything else like that that have helped you? Shit, like, though, you I can make off several for you, right? Really, though. So, like, to start off, like, where I would want to begin at is, like, okay, so most people are using SoundCloud, or, you know, they're trying to get their music on Spotify, whatever, yeah. man. But SoundCloud, we'll start with SoundCloud. Uh, Repost Exchange, man. That's like a, a whole network of people that are literally going in there and trying to gain those reposts and comments and interactions and <clears throat> views. So it's like real people <clears throat> asking real people to give you real info, real feedback, real heartstrings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You get good, bad comments. I mean, these people will give it to you. Um, and so, like, the thing is, is you kind of have to work your stuff up. You got to get these points or whatever, you know, referral links and that thing, whatever. You can do campaigns to run some shit that they'll stack up, views, and whatever. It's, it's a really cool process, and it takes a little bit of time to get it. But the thing is, is, if you spend a whole entire hour, just an hour a day, and you go through, and you go and repost and like these songs that you're looking at on this repost exchange you don't have to like repost or say anything about stuff that you don't like you know what i'm saying yeah. if it's trash i mean leave it alone so nobody will find it but if it's great you feel it just go through an hour a day man and do those reposts and people should all everybody that was on there should do the same thing you just see a lot more interaction but either way the fact of the matter is you're still pulling numbers and you're still pulling real numbers like you're not yeah, paying for no, you're not paying, paying for numbers you're not paying for some yeah, I mean, you're walking around OG, man, when somebody says, well, how many how many views you got? And you, you run up, like, 
you know, 1.2 million. When you say that to somebody and they're like, yeah, you probably paid for I mean, that's what I'm saying. You have no doubt in your yeah. mind that you're your ass off on that site. So, I mean, you're going to, like, I wish you would, man. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm not going to feel that. I'm be able to rock that, too. And that's the cool thing is you're not going to be a liar, obviously. But the same thing, when you lie and you, and you don't feel that lie that you just told because you know that you're wrong, like, it kind of makes you look like that asshole, especially, like, people around, like, me. I see that shit. So, like, if you stop for a second and you're like, man, I really should have said that, but I'm a dumbass or whatever, I would have caught that instance. And then me and you don't fuck around no more because, like, why do you want to be fake from the get? Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. That's some other shit. No, I know. I already know. I already know. Exchange. So, repost exchange, really good network of people, really good network of stuff. Um, second thing I would do is, like, look at, like, local, local music, uh, bouquets you know like if you look at a bouquet of flowers you see how they have popples of flowers everywhere and then they have stuff in between so yeah. like if you're walking your local music scene you're gonna find those popples and then you're gonna be able to connect with those people and then all those other things in between are just now pavement stones because everybody has connections and so if you all link together you know your connections open doors for these people and these uh, connections over here, open doors for you that you can't reach. Yeah. So everybody's foot goes somewhere that needs to be connected to another door. And I mean, <clears> that right there is where the networking thing is at. Um, so that's the second thing I would say. Local music scene is definitely something to look into. Uh, third would be t- to reach out to like, you know, Fuck Them or uh, even Perp TV. Some of those yeah. smaller guys, not like, you know, World Star. Obviously, nobody has that money to drop on stuff like that. But uh, no you know, no pictures on your YouTube, like make sure it's like a video. It's a, it's actually animation. It's actually moving. Yeah. Uh, you know, you don't want, why put it on a video, uh, you know, video platform. But the fact of the matter is, is when you do something like that, make sure you're, you're getting with somebody that's already accredited world star. Uh, but the fact of the matter, like perp TV, fuck them, uh, trash gang. Like there's so many of them, man. And like $40 a pop. So you just get them to throw you in the list of things. And, you know, sad thing is, bro, is I really doubt they're really going to take 40 bucks from you if your shit sucks. Like, they're not just yeah, going to take be. it and it completely just trash and just throw it on their sh- – you know, so, I mean, I feel like anybody that's running a business standpoint, you know, they got a little bit of that business mentor uh, mentality, whatever, whoever's behind the scenes, uh, you know, directing it. The fact of the matter is if they've got any of that, they're going to run it, you know, professionally. Yeah, uh, on, on some, some aspects, I would expect that professionalism from them, though, if yeah. they're going to do it that way. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they're yeah, going to ask cool. you for 40 bucks, it, listen to it, man. Don't just, you know, whatever. That's how, kind of how I run my stuff. But this, like I said, this that's other things uh, for other days or whatever. But uh, back to the point was you said resources. So, like, we've got repost exchange. We've got, you know, the fact of the matter, you got local scene, uh, perp TV, those type of guys you know blogs vlogs and like this right here the interview you're doing for me these type of things right here was really going to set everything else apart yeah so you know just follow that way um other than that man like software software that you can use to get things done uh that's really where i have to leave off with you know this is this is the end of it because like that's where the rest of it comes into play like, yeah, I can make my own social social networking site right now, and it's not going to be popping. But the fact of the matter is, I know how to do it, mm-hmm. and anybody can do it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if you use that mentality to force some of those goals, I mean, always have an end end game, but make sure you're not running out of goals. You know, like if you have something you want to be and you achieve it, you don't have anything lined up in front of that uh, prior to you achieving that goal. You're probably going to end up at a plateau you're probably gonna end up standstill and you're gonna do the same thing i've been doing for eight years remind you so 12 years of rapping eight years of bullshitting and then two years of actually recording uh yeah. will be a testament to that so don't fucking do it quit do it quit do it quit you, you lose a lot of time you waste a lot of effort and you lose everything that you gained uh, to that point and then you start right back over man it's 10 times harder i get you i get you i get you 
Yeah, no, I, I get it. I feel that. I feel that definitely. I've been there a couple of times. I, I remember I spoke to you a couple of times, and the fact that you know I felt like just stopping, and then you're like, nah, I don't do it. It's stupid, pointless. Blah, blah, blah. I tell you every time. Every time I'm yeah. telling you how much time you're gonna waste. Yeah, I mean, that's sure. we're dead. Not like sure. everything you've done to this point is now trash, bro. Everything. Like, yeah. How you many did. times? Yeah. How much, you know? How many minutes? You can count the hours, man. It's like too much. You just don't. You can't do that to yourself, man. No, I get you. Either I get you. Win it, or you're gonna have to jump out, man, because it's EA Sports in here, you know. <laughs> it's in the game, bro. In the, game. in the fucking game. Okay, so what would you say is your best musical quality, <laughs> Mr. Big White Brick? Ooh, ooh, uh, just the. Uh, I'm very. I'm different, man. I'm like the black sheep. I feel like I'm a black sheep, man. Like I get into a room and everybody else. Is, doing some kind of you know like it's always like somebody's trying to steal somebody else's flow or however it goes man like people yeah. can cop some other flow it's just influences but like literally i i keep coming up with new ways to do things every other day it's just weird so versatility i guess man really like okay. now i'm starting to sing a little bit it's starting to get a little weird over here man i ain't gonna lie <laughs> might be john travis this country singer after a while you know whatever. Uh, maybe it's, white maybe it's country. Like meant to merge country rap Country rap, bro. That's what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, right there. Like, have you seen that hip? Did I show you that hip hop? That, or hip grass or hip hop no. grass or whatever? That, dude, that's crazy. Oh, man. I'll, I'll show you that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's, it's bluegrass. Uh, yeah, it's bluegrass and hip hop, man. It's, it's nuts. It's a really good. It's just different because I mean it's so sharp on each edge. Like as soon as they touch, it's like, <laughs> wow, that was beautiful. You know? But up to that point, you're like, dude, I don't know if I feel this yet. And then the hip hop shit comes in, and it's all like, wow, that sounds dope over that shit. <clears throat> okay, okay, I'll have to check that out. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I'm looking forward to seeing Personal that. Personal preference, really. <clears throat> no, I get like, you. Uh, Raised around a bunch of hillbillies, man. So it's like. I mean, it's, I don't know. I don't mind it. Yeah, I no, like I get it. you. I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. So what do you wish you knew when you started, like, doing music? <laughs> yeah, real shit. This is one of them. That is, like, acing the whole question there, bud. Holy <laughs> shit. Let me go down. Let me get the scroll out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh man, like, uh, oh shit, okay. okay, let me try really, really hard to get one. Um, what I know, wait, try that one more time, give me the question one more time so I can make this good. So, what do you wish how did you word that question? What do you wish, wish, you knew, wish. uh, when you started doing music? <clears throat> so, would it be marketing? Would it be business? Would it be uh, branding, promotion, fucking <laughs> like flow styles, beat making, like time? Like, there's man, there is so many different things that you could branch into. It's crazy. Just choose like three. Just choose like three, like three things. <laughs> got rope the sticks together and get a genie in a lamp right now because I'm, I'm I'm making a wish. Um, so I wish that I would have never, that's, that's what it is now. That's, that's a good one. I wish I would have never quit the first time. Yeah. I wish I would have never stopped doing what I was doing the first time I started doing it. If you set it down you're f and everything up, like shame on you. Yeah. Like don't do that. Like you really are, man. Like I can't tell you how many steps, like people always use the reference or the, you know, analogy. I'm always taking one step forward, 10 steps back. But like, you have no idea what those 10 steps inquire unless yeah, you exactly. do that right there. Like waste yeah. seven and a half years, eight years, 12 years, 25 years, and then just piss that shit down the drain one day. And let me show you how far you can step back. Like yeah. try about like 30, 370 yards, man. We're going two football fields and like, you know what I'm saying? Five yeah. yards because of a penalty. <laughs> like that shit's crazy. No, I get it you. really is, man. You waste too much time, too much effort, too much resources. Everything's wasted. 
I get you. I get you. I get you. There we go. You yeah. back? Yeah. There we go. My there wife we. was trying to call me. Okay, so. <clears throat> um. Oh, shit. Yeah, you, you wait, you're not doing it to yourself, but you're doing it to everybody else as well. Like, you know, you're not true. the only one on that. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Like, like, for me like and death, you, for it? instance, like, I told like a death. You, I've invested time into you conversations. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? It's like that. It's like, like that. You just piss that down with these such a way. Yeah, there you go. I mean, yeah. In the same way, like yeah, it is. Instead of grieving, you just pissed off instead. Like you just replace certain things. Do you know what I'm saying? You just replace certain. You know, it's just replacing that different stuff. Real talk. Just get that squid jelly, man. Just rub it all in your hand. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> So how do you feel about your music and, you know, people engaging with your music? Um, I feel like, man, it's hard to say right now, man. Like, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, dude. I'm really in a rough spot right now. Like, I'm really at that breaking point where, like, I really feel like I'm hopeless and I, I can't do this any longer uh, just because, like, the things that are around me that are, you know, forcing yeah. that that downward. You know, it's, a, it's a cross wind, man. It's, it's downward, and it's hard to bring yourself back up from that downward uh, cross wind, man. Like because okay. it's like getting stuck in that, and that it's like a tunnel, man. Like in the center of that that wind stream, you're you're in a, stuck in a tunnel, man. You, you can't move in any direction, or you're gonna get forced into another, you know, part of that where you can't get out. And right now, that's where I'm at, man. I just feel like a ping pong ball or like, you know, pinball, man. I'm just bouncing back and forth trying to figure this out, trying to find another direction, try to relink something together. And I'm having the hardest time doing it. So it's like, here we go again. But this time I know better. Um, so, we, you know, we still got the 24-hour rotation of radio going. Uh, still got my music going. I'm still Would you fucking <laughs> Uh, stop calling me. <laughs> nah, it's all good. It's all good. Um, I know what you're saying though, because do you know what? I re I read something once. It was um when you're you're basically get, you're at your lowest point and you're about to like literally just drop off, like the whole thing. Like that's when your greatest inspiration is coming through. Like it's just how can I explain it? It's like you're saying going through a tunnel. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's like you're literally at such the lowest point, but because you're at the lowest lowest point you get, there's a spark of creativity or genius or something like that, which will bring you right back through that tunnel. And then you're going to hit another tunnel later on down the line. But because you're at the bottom of the fucking bucket, you know what I'm saying? Like you scraped all the ideas out and there's nothing left in there. Do you know what I'm saying? You like just about to give up. And then it's like, it's like, I don't know, fucking rare light, Jesus fucking shit comes through. Uh, <laughs> That's it. It's like something yeah, for real shit, though. Real shit. Tomorrow, there'll be something empty. in there. It is empty, bro. No, but that's right, Hi. though. Oh, never there. I swear down. Tomorrow, you open that box, there'll be literally nothing in there, but there'll be something where that box was. Like, you know what I'm saying? There'll be something where that box was, and it'll be there. Yeah, see, what happened was nobody told you they drove two holes on the other side. Man, you can't do yourself like that. That's like, crazy. nobody told you they drilled two holes on the other side, man. So you it this way. <laughs> You're fucked. Yeah. <laughs> so, look, do you have any projects going on at the moment? That's yeah, true. Um, it's too true. Go on. I'm sorry, it actually skipped right there, man. What'd you say? Nah, you're all good. I was gonna. Say, I was just. Um, I was saying, do you have any project uh, projects going on at the moment? And if so. How do you feel it or they are going? Mm. Right now, got a lot of projects going. Are they music? 95% yeah. of them probably aren't. It's like okay. rebuilding some more, you know, whatever. Uh, okay. The project I do have going music wise, I'm literally trying to go ahead and take everything down and re release it the proper way. Like I said, I've got 56 tracks, man, that are just. I mean, to me, and I, 
you got to start somewhere. So I, I love my own music, man. But yeah. Like literally, I listen to them over and over and over again. It's like, damn, bro. Like I know how to make my own beats. I know how to, you know, I know how to do my own shit, man. So I need to redo everything. I need to get everything. You know, I've got all my royalties to me. As soon as I put them on, you know, as soon as I register all my shit, as soon as I put it out, I've got a hundred percent royalties because I've gotten myself developed with, you know, every every corner of that. So um, it's just a re-strategize. I'm not afraid it's a uh, or it's a rebrand and a re I'm not afraid or ashamed of uh, out beats. It's really beats, man. Like I can't have those beat tags. I can't have those free beats. I I need money. I need royalties. I need. That, I mean, I made that music solely from my the depths of me, man. So it's like it really is worth something to me. Yeah. Uh, and if it could pay a little bit of my, you know, kids' college tuition or however the money works out for me, damn it, man. I just I actually come through because, man, let me tell you right now, it's it's always it's not like we in the struggle. Struggle's real. No, the struggle is is like here. Yeah, struggle's no, here, yeah, no, like no. right in front of you. You can touch it. <laughs> no, I get you though. I know. Go I ahead, get stuck in that struggle. No, I already know the set. I already know the set. It's all good. It's all good. But no, I definitely feel where you're coming from. It's just that, like a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a rebrand and to re-strategize how to you know push your music back out there into the public and use you know what you've already got basically and just to update it. And then push it back out there into the you know into the public eye so people can see this different stuff and then you know in time start to grow you know from a cold audience to a warm audience to a hot audience and everything else like that you know it's a flourish what you're doing as an artist you know what i'm saying as an independent artist out here in the music scene today you got two options man you can either go you know you can go natural route which is like leads least path of resistance and you just find your lane and you just continue to do it like i said don't give up man and you just continue to do you uh, usually any business takes about two years to gain off the ground with before they get a you know deficit yeah. gone overhead gone profit either way but you can take route number two and you can like go six nine boom gang or like you know you know hillary uh, hillary clinton i mean you know what I'm saying get scandalous a bit um you know, Pizzagate, you know, whatever, bro. The fact of the matter is, like, if you go out there and you, if you seek something, bro, and you go looking for it, you're gonna find it. So, like, like, depending on the way you want to retain and the way you want to vision things, yeah. Um, I mean, just go, you know, one foot in front of the other. I mean, it's just like walking, man. Like it's I said, goals, it, really? Make sure you have a goal set up for another. Goal. In game, in game and goals, man. Like, don't. No real shit. You no, give real up on yourself I, I before you. you give up on yourself is the thing. It's like, you don't have anything to aspire to do. So. Yeah, no, I get you. There has to be, there has to be an overall goal and achievement that is going to, you know, all these little milestones don't, add up to whatever. We don't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> this is over. My drop. Real shit. This guy's lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, why are you so lazy, brother? Just make that damn music, bud. Just push it. Just push it real good. No, I get you. I get you. I don't know, man. It's a, nah, it's a good okay. life, though, man. It's, I mean, I'm. It, it could be worse. Dead or in jail. This is true. Sink or swim, bro. It's always sink or swim. Anyway, much like Big White Brick for joining us for this little uh, this little interview with the Obesity Beats vlog artist interview. Much, much appreciate your time. Um, drop your so let these people know the social media because I know you got the strong radio and you got the big white brick as well and I think I'm not wrong you got a couple other things yeah. well. so drop all that and then what I'll do is I'll put it in a net yeah, it's, and a, it's, it's, a, it's a super good board but the easiest way to drop radio Google it it's strong radio S T R N G no O because we smoked it type shit you know what I'm saying <laughs> strong radio without the O um, but you'll find me like I've got Google ad space, like no other, like I'm the only thing on that front, the whole first page. And I'm like, what? I didn't have to pay 250 grand for that. Like Google, you're the shit. But it's really because of the fact that I spelled it wrong, but I really didn't. It doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is 
Strong Radio, no O. You can find me on Google. Yes, baby, I'm in here. Hold on one second. And then, uh, hold on one second. And then uh, we've got my artist work, which is like, I mean, it's still kind of scrambled in all the Strong Radio stuff. So, I mean, if you find Strong Radio, you can find me. But uh, Instagram is uh, big underscore white underscore brick dot, or I'm sorry, dash, J-A-Y. Actually, I messed that up. Big white brick with underscores. Then it is dash in between the J-A-Y-T, and there's a period. So okay. it's retarded. Like, I don't know why I did it that long. <laughs> I don't know why it's that intricated, but I'm going to fix that. Uh, brick official, which is official spelled wrong, by the way. I did that on purpose because I'm not that official or whatever. But brick official one on Twitter. Uh, you can find me at big white brick uh, JT. That's Instagram. Uh, Facebook strong like water. That's the uh, strong radio address. And then a it's brick is uh, my Facebook. I mean, you literally find me at a it's brick. <laughs> I'm not missing anything on YouTube, yeah, but I'm not monetized. I don't have a thousand subscribers. You guys should go subscribe right now. That way you guys can, you know, hit it up and we can get a name at the end of that. That's good, right that's now I'm like idea. user, subscriber, new channel, 65,000 numbers, whatever. But. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh yeah, Google it, man. You can it. <clears throat> I appreciate your time, though, man. Now, anytime, I appreciate yours as well, bro. Real shit, you know what I'm saying? Like... I'm chopping up for uh, what? It feels a lot longer, but I think it's just been about a year that me and this guy have been chopping up for. You know what I'm saying? Like we've been working. Oh, there's times where actually it's been a lot like, longer than that. Yeah. Times like, a day. Yeah. And we just be chopping ideas up, back and forth, back and forth. That's weird, but this is big white brick, and you don't know weird until you met the big white brick. Real shit. This guy is this guy is top man. Seriously, like genuine, one hundred percent guy. Real shit. <laughs> Hold a beer. Hold no, a beer. <laughs> Finna go kill a goat. But look, OB's on the beat. Big white brick. Much love for everybody checking in. Smoke cut spray's bad. Vlog. I'm saying the vlog. Much love. And I'll see you all next week. Peace. We do not smoke cut spray's man. We're simple. <laughs> <laughs>